interestingly, I always say to people that um, if you've never been fired, y you'll never know who are your real friends. Yeah. The phone doesn't <laughs> ring. <laughs> you sit there, you calls. sit there and you say, I'm Trevor Ngobi, I was, I was editor of the Financial Gazette. Lots of people that I know, the phone will ring. The phone never rang. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, that teaches you a lesson about, about life. Uh, and who are your friends? Uh, and yeah, I, I learned that lesson. Um, three months, it took three, three months for me to sort of try and figure out what it is that I wa wanted to do. Um, when I was pretty desperate, I, I was told that um, Clive Murphy and Clive Wilson actually saw my being fired uh, either from the Financial Gazette as an opportunity to introduce uh, a new publication. So I called Clive Murphy uh, and Clive said I was expecting this call and uh, to cut a long story short we met at the Harare Club three or four times uh, and um, uh, they were determined that they wanted to start uh, another weekly paper. We debated what it was going to be called. Eventually we uh, settled on the Zimbabwe Independent then on May 10, uh, we launched with uh, 13, uh, initially seven members of staff. Uh, and uh, Clive Murphy was determined that it would be seven, uh, but I, I pushed hard to 13. And I was given the mandate uh, to decide the editorial thrust of, uh, of uh, the Zimbabwe Independent. <laughs>